All right, we're back, day two. Happy day after uh, election day. And uh, we're gonna uh, put the AR through its paces again with a uh, trigger that hopefully works this time, so. So, as you can hear, it's uh, working. I got the gong swinging around all over the place down there. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, much, much better trigger feel than it was before. And uh, smoother, uh, it's better brake on it. It's definitely not as hard to pull, poundage is down. Uh, and uh, yeah, so for the uh, $30 worth of stuff, and. 20, 30 minutes uh, worth my time into it. It's uh, definitely an improvement. Will it stay in the uh, in this AR forever? Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, I am happy with it. If you guys want uh, to try that, I would def definitely recommend doing that upgrade before you spend uh, a big chunk of change on a drop-in trigger or even a, you know, any aftermarket uh, high-end trigger. So I'm actually going to I'm gonna run through the rest of this mag. Yeah, I only I put one box of uh, ammo in that uh, that mag, so it was only 20 rounds, but uh, awesome. So it's uh, it's confession time, and uh, as you saw uh, earlier in the video, uh, I had a malfunction, and we took it back to my workbench, pulled it apart. I actually showed that video to some friends of mine, and uh, one of my good friends is uh, an armor now, and. I actually had the video posted on YouTube for like 10 or 15 minutes and they got a hold of me and were like, dude, take that video down, we know what your problem is. And uh, what had happened was I put one of my springs in backwards. And you know, I, I rewatched the footage, I remembered specifically when I did it, I, I took it off, laid it down, put it back on exactly how I had taken it off and I was like, I don't see how that could have gone on backwards and it dawned on me what happened was I had to have put it on backwards when I did the filing and then put the trigger group back together and then took it back apart to do the springs because I, I didn't test fire it at the range in between so you know all in all, I've, I've had an AR trigger apart three times. Um, had the rest of the gun apart a lot of times, but not just not the trigger. So, um, you know, they said you guys, you gotta take that video down. You're gonna look silly that you put it back together wrong. Guess what? I made a mistake, and uh, I'm not an armorer. I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. I'm not a pro. Do your research. Uh, watch videos. Read the instructions. You know, I got lucky that. Uh, you know, it was it wasn't a big deal, and just you know, light strikes, and that's all it was. You know, and uh, so, if anything, I'll take this as a lesson that, uh, as always, I need to be extremely careful when I'm, you know, putting firearms back together. That's why we come out here to you know test fire. There's nobody around, and uh, you know, one shot at a time. We t we take things slow. And uh, after I figured out that I had an issue, I just stopped, I pulled it apart, took it home, and uh, I fixed it. So, again, um, I made a mistake, we figured it out, fixed it, it works great now. Uh, I would strongly recommend these modifications to you guys, and uh, I feel like I'm rambling now. So, thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, it helps us out a lot. Head on over to our Facebook page. 
and check us out there the Facebook group which is kind of like a forum uh, for Tech Talk follow us on Twitter at Hawkeye Skunk W and since I've joined the 21st century I got an Instagram now so it is uh, Hawkeye Skunk Works as well and be adding photos and stuff to that on a daily basis thanks a lot have a great night